Hey boys and girls, welcome again to another fun week. This week, I'm actually gonna be working on a Dollar Tree project. So every item that you see on the table, I actually purchased at Dollar Tree. This was actually a dollar, the little wreath. So we're gonna be making wreaths out of the clothes pins. So all of this actually costs a dollar. So with $5, you should be able to get all the material you need. We actually got the clothes pin. You might need two packs of these. The packs actually bring 36. You're gonna need some acrylic paint. For this one, I'm gonna be using the bumblebee. So you were gonna be using the yellow paint and the black paint because we're gonna use this paint to color our clothes pins. We're also gonna need paintbrush. We're gonna need some flowers. So I purchased a whole bunch of different ones. You could just stick to one kind. So that way you stay within budget. You could pick the color that's gonna match. What I'm gonna do with the color pens is that I'm gonna color them all black with yellow polka dots. And then I'm gonna place them right here. And we're gonna continue doing that all around. So it's gonna actually be a wreath with clothes pens. So let's get to this. The first thing we're actually gonna do is we're gonna actually take off these clothes pins. I was just putting these on to measure it to see how many I needed. So this that was the only reason why I had them on this. The wreaths are actually circled. There's more, when I went to Dollar Tree, they actually had different shapes. So you feel free to buy whatever you want. You can make it smaller. I think this was the bigger one. They had a triangle of shapes. So you feel free to buy whatever you want. So, where we're gonna start is we're gonna color all these black first. And we're, as, as soon as they dry them, we're gonna put the polka dots on them. And once they all completely dry, we're gonna set them on the wreaths. So let's get to painting. color these so I got a little helper now helping me paint these um I did since I did the measurements um if you're using the same wreath <clears throat> there's like little squares on it that I'm gonna show you so from here to here basically you're gonna be using 14 pins so since I'm gonna make two of these spots with flowers we're not gonna worry about those so right now in total, I'm gonna be using about 56 pins. So we're gonna continue to paint these and then we'll get back to you and with our next step. first sit and dry for a little bit and with the yellow we're going to start creating our polka dots i actually grabbed a smaller paintbrush to do this so we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to start doing polka dots so i'm only going to do it on one side so i'm going to do it on the top the side and that's it because we're not going to see since this is going to be a wreath and it's going to be hanging in the back they're not going to see the back part of it so we're only going to do the top and then we if you decide you want to do the back you could go ahead the reason why i'm only doing the top is because it's a little time consuming so 
because of that, I'm just gonna do the top. But if you wanna do the back and you just wanna do the whole pin, go ahead and do it. But just go ahead and have fun with this. Do create your polka dots and I will come back and I'll see you when we're all done with these pins. So because it was taking a little bit longer, I actually went ahead and grabbed one of my nails tools to create the polka dots. So I used the biggest circle that I could find to actually do this. And if you notice, it actually works a little bit faster. So we could probably get through this a little bit quicker if you have this tool at home. If not, just go ahead and finish with your paintbrush. But because I could do this faster with this one, I'm just gonna continue with this. finish actually coloring these pins we're gonna let them sit for a little bit maybe about three minutes let them dry once they dry we're gonna start putting the wreath together i am gonna take a real quick break and i'm gonna wash my hands because i am done with the pink you could actually do the same too at, so you can let your pin dry so i'm gonna go ahead and clean up any mess that i have with paint because we're not going to be using paint at, for this the, the remainder of the portion so just go ahead, take that minute to wash your hair and clean up a little bit, and then we'll get back to creating our wreath. So now that our post pans are dry, we're actually gonna start placing them and we're, start, we're gonna start making our wreath. So you're gonna go, and you're gonna start on the one corner and you're gonna go all the way down. Remember, we are gonna leave two of the spots open for flowers, so it will basically be this one and this one right here. So you're gonna continue to put them right from the second one because you see this is the first one, second, third. So you're gonna go in the second one and you're gonna open your pen and you're gonna put it right there on the second and third only. And you're gonna continue to do that all the way around. that are actually open so we're gonna keep that open to add our flowers so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start adding some of these flowers I got different colors like I said you could actually use whatever color you brought it could be just one simple color but I'm I, I like the color so I'm just gonna use a whole bunch of different ones so we're gonna start off by actually putting these so I cut them off from the bouquet that it comes in so they should come together like this so what i did is i actually cut one off and then i'm gonna start putting them individually here but with that little stem that we got left over we're actually gonna tie it up so if you need to cut it shorter which i probably i am gonna do just to be able to tie it a little bit better we will be doing that so you go ahead and make sure you guys are being careful with the scissors And then we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut them. Once we have cut them, 
cut them, we're gonna actually start tying them. So we're just basically gonna put them in and try to tie it as much as possible. So you're just gonna be, the way we're gonna tie it is we're just gonna keep on rolling it a couple of times, turning it on that little wire frame, turn it a couple of times and it should stay in place. And then from there on, you could keep on adding your flowers. As you finishing it so we're gonna basically be standing in sideways and we're gonna add the B here so this was actually a wind chime I took out the bell and I took out the top chain because I didn't want that that was unnecessary and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this to the reef itself and once you place this on the, the reef you would actually be completed so let's go ahead and I glue this to the reef itself just be sure to be careful with the high glue as a parent to do this part for you. Just be very careful with it. So you're only going to have to do the bottom. So once you get the glue, just put it on. Hold it down for a couple of seconds to make sure it glued onto your reef. And this will be your final step. And this is what your reef has turned out to look like. So I will be taking some pictures and you will see them right after this but i hope you guys had fun and i hope you guys create more of these things you could create it however you want with different colors with different designs and the best thing is you could actually sell this and make some extra money so you could guys go, guys go buy more supplies and maybe do some more and get profit out of it so i hope you guys had fun and we will be doing another type of reef so stay tuned to the next video